Welcome to Consumer Science News and Notes, an informative program from experts on your health, home, family, food, and finances. Did you know that a few simple steps can lead you to a better night's rest? That moving to a new home can be easier than you thought? Or that you can reduce your risk of stroke by lowering your high blood pressure? Consumer Science News and Notes will explain these interesting facts and offer useful and intriguing information. During the program, we'll let you know about websites you can visit for useful data and ideas. We'll also tell you where to send for free brochures and information packets. January 8th, 2016, uh, changed our lives. Our 36-year-old son died in a rental house fire. And he was uh, trapped in his bedroom. The door was closed. His window was sealed shut. So it was an electrical fire and that had been smoldering. And for some reason, it reared its ugly head in the middle of the night, well, about 4.30 in the morning. We woke up to a phone call from our, our second daughter um, crying. And she had said, there's no smoke alarms. I can't believe it, there's no smoke alarms. And she said, we have to do something. And it was just like from that moment that we knew that we were gonna do something um, to prevent other people from going through what we were just starting to go through. We started out just doing a few here and there, and as time went along, it uh, just became a part of us, uh, our new life. Volunteering with the Red Cross, uh, installing smoke alarms in Greg's honor. You, you just need more volunteers to actually go out and be part of the solution. And it doesn't take your whole life. It takes hours here and there. Everyone is so busy in their life, if you just give a little bit of time and do something as putting in a smoke alarm, teaching somebody about fire safety, uh, it's a good feeling because we know that we're, we're helping to save a life. And I think Greg is looking down and saying, you know, good job, good job. Here are some simple steps for a more restful sleep. Try to keep a regular sleep schedule so your body's internal clock is set to sleep through the night. Give yourself enough time to settle down and relax prior to bedtime so it's easier to fall asleep and stay asleep. Avoid caffeine and excess liquids in the evenings. Get plenty of exercise during the day so you feel tired at night. When you're moving to a new home, four hints can help make the move smoother. First. Get at least three free written in-home estimates from moving companies. Next, read your paperwork carefully. Once you've signed a contract, you've agreed to what it says about your move. Remember, communication is key. Make sure the mover has your cell phone number and you have the driver's name and truck number. Finally, consider a certified pro mover who meets the American Moving and Storage Association's high standards. Learn more at moving.org. 150 over 90. 180 over 111. 160 over 110. I had a stroke. This is what high blood pressure looks like. You might not feel its symptoms, but the results from a stroke are far from invisible or silent. If you've come off your treatment plan, get back on it or talk with your doctor to create an exercise, diet, and medication plan that works for you. Go to loweryourhbp.org. If I would have followed a treatment plan, I would not be in this situation. I guess, who went along on that had an appointment. We found out it was a sales presentation. There were two main things. Well, he said that he had a 10-year plan. Asked him, I asked him several times well, he said the, it's a policy that if either one of you passes away, then um, your membership, 
I mean, it'll be forgiven even Paid if you off. own money. Paid off, okay. Paid off. We never saw that in writing, though. Okay. He called us and he said, you need to have this. You shouldn't rescind. Put a lot of pressure on us. Left. What is the total amount that you owe on those two contracts? It's my understanding is it 190 or 197? Something like that, yes. A hundred and I don't have those figures in my mind right now, but um over 190,000. It's a around 190. The maintenance fees, I mean, we got that notice and we about fell over. 19000 plus dollars okay. for one year, just maintenance fees. Um, we really so, lost sleep over that. Did you? I didn't match. It affected us terribly. Um, because there was things in the contract we were never told. When you're looking for ways to help older adults stay connected to the community, the Elder Care Locator can help you to find local services. Whether you're seeking health and wellness programs, volunteer opportunities, or technology training, the Elder Care Locator can connect you and your loved ones to the community. Funded by the U.S. Administration for Community Living, the Elder Care Locator is a free public service that is administered by the National Association of Area Agencies on Aging. Learn more at eldercare.acl.gov or call 800-677-1116. 178 million Americans are missing one or more teeth, and in most cases, dental implants would be their best option for tooth replacement. With so many ads over-promising immediate results at bargain prices, patients need to be careful, according to the Institute for Dental Implant Awareness, a patient advocacy and education organization. Bargain implant treatment can have devastating consequences for patients, especially if complications occur and treatment has to be completely redone. Many patients assume that any dentist can place dental implants, but they're unaware of the additional training and expertise required for this surgery. While cost is a factor, the qualifications and expertise of the surgeon should be the most important consideration. Unfortunately, many patients have come to my office with bargain implants that have failed and have paid a significant price emotionally, physically, and financially. To find an experienced surgical specialist and make an informed choice, visit the dentalimplantguide.org. I joined the Army after seeing 9-11 on TV in my dorm room. We have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. You know, I did 21 years, so I can't define one proud moment. I can define many proud moments. I, I ended up joining the uh, reconnaissance unit. I went to sniper school. It's one of the hardest schools the military has. Proud moment. When I got home from my first deployment, I got to go hold the flag at an Oakland Raiders football game. I remember the F-16s flew over and I just had that huge chill go down my spine. That was probably the proudest I've ever been. It was a night mission and uh, we were on our way up a hill to drop off the sniper team. And um, on the way up that hill, we drove over a pressure plate IED of 500 pound ammonia. April 7th of 2006, I was shot in the left side of the head. I got hit in the face with the buttstock of an M16, so it fractured my orbital floor and also my skull. I was drained. It was just hard to function. I started having a lot of headaches. I was on three pages of medication, five sleep meds alone, nine bleeding ulcers. I had a problem, let's just say that. They kind of piled up the brain injuries. I made a conscious decision that I didn't want to live anymore. I knew if I could do one last thing for my family, it would be to give them an honorable, beautiful military funeral. 
They called me out of the blue. They asked me to come down and take a tour and spend an afternoon and learn about the program, and I did. Life has never been the same since. The Share Military Initiative started back in 2008, and it was a result of Bernie Marcus, who recognized the gaps that were out there for our service members getting adequate care. This program is for any active duty or separated service members who have served since 9-11-2001, who are experiencing either a diagnosis or just symptoms of a mild to moderate brain injury and any co-occurring psychological or behavioral health symptoms or conditions. This is real work. Mentally, physically, it's gonna challenge. They don't do checklists. They do everything off of the individual. You have physical therapy that's going to be dealing with, you know, motion, your pain, balance, so forth and so on. And then you have recreational therapy that's going to give you that quality of life back that really kind of gives you insight that you're able to do certain things that you're not hindered from participating in anymore. We can have folks come in for three days, and if they just need to see a couple disciplines, we'll do that. But we have the ability for folks to save for eight, 10, 12 weeks if that's what's needed as well. Everything's taken care of for you. So, you know, if you're out of state, we'll fly you in, or, or you could drive in and we'll reimburse you, but there's apartments that you can stay in as well. If your caregiver or spouse wants to come and learn more about your traumatic brain injury, then they're more than welcome to come as well and stay in the apartments with you. I've buried 10 courageous men, dads, husbands, to suicide. After you've been downrange, after you've done the hardest thing in the world, no. Nah. I've always been a selfless service guy, and uh, this place is showing me that I'm important also. I think for the first time, I'm looking forward, period. Every day, visionaries are creating the future. So every day, we put our latest technology and unrivaled network to work. The United States Postal Service makes more e-commerce deliveries to homes than anyone else in the country. Because the future only happens with people who really know how to deliver it. We're here in the South Bronx at Children's Health Fund's very first program site. And we're here to celebrate um, this new partnership and to have a look at the services being provided. Our mission is really very simple. We want to ensure the highest quality health care reaches children living in poverty. Access to health care is what we do, and we go the extra mile to make sure it happens. And going the extra mile means that we bring our mobile clinics right to where kids live, where they learn, where they play, and we do that in a very community integrated and oriented way. This is actually a room where the patients are screened by the providers. You could talk to the doctor about various conditions or what it is exactly that you need, just like you would do at your regular physical. The doctor can order certain blood tests to be done from here. They can order certain screenings. They can order referrals for the patient to see specialists if they needed to. They can also order nutrition, mental health, whatever it is that the patient needs, just like at a regular physician's office. We do more than just medical care. So when we talk about comprehensive services, we obviously have uh, providers, nurse practitioners, and doctors doing basic primary care, but so often a patient comes in complaining about one issue, and then we find out there's so many other issues. So we really see ourselves as kind of a one-stop shopping to really help this family succeed. Innovation at Children's Health Fund started from day one. We were the pioneers of the medical home house call. And this partnership with Henry Schein is going to continue that innovation. Together, creative problem solving, getting to places where we couldn't go alone, getting there together, and making sure kids have access to high quality care that they need, um, that's really where we're going to. Henry Shine is really helping help happen by delivering products and services and solutions that providers need throughout the U.S. every single day. Children's Health Fund and their IDN affiliates are helping help happen by delivering care to the most needy of populations. So we're both delivering. One's delivering products and the other one's delivering care. To see the partnership come together, the strategies that we've worked on over the last year, 
you know, culminate to this morning and getting a chance to uh, walk on the mobile clinic and you know, get a tour of it and find out that it actually has some of the services that a primary care physician's office has. And so to know that that level of care is gonna to go to the underserved, and specifically in this area, to children in need, is just a fantastic time for both organizations. When I look to the future, I see a future together with Henry Schein and Children's Health Fund. We took a while to get to this point. We, we've worked together, we've ideated together, uh, we've created together. And from this foundation, the future is, is very bright. Um, I can see us reaching more kids with more services in more places, not only over the next four years, but maybe the next 40. What is school choice? It's not as complicated as you might think. School choice is a way governments can give parents back their education tax dollars to choose whatever educational options they think best fit their kids. Here's how it works. It starts with you and your community. Together, you all pay income taxes, sales taxes, or both. Those taxes become the revenue the state uses to pay for education. From there, the state splits up those funds to all families based on their children's needs. Families can then use that money to purchase whichever schooling options, public, private, charter, homeschool, online or otherwise, they think are best for their kids. An educated child has greater opportunities to succeed and to bring that success back to their community. Like to know how school choice looks today? Although it is not available to all families right now, there are four ways many states offer parents choice. Okay, so you've built something brilliant, your business. But managing your own business is a task loaded with ongoing challenges hmm. such as marketing, sales, customer service, and a lot more, all of which can become stressful and waste valuable time and resources. However, when it comes to your business's web hosting, you can't settle for anything less than the best. That's why people who manage their own web hosting are switching to managed hosting with Liquid Web. For more than 20 years, Liquid Web has been powering content and commerce for small and mid-sized businesses whose websites fuel their marketability. Our fast, secure, highly reliable, hassle-free hosting makes us the only web provider you will ever need. Liquid Web takes care of everything. From your server administration, including hardware management, network management, operating system and pre-installed software support, to proactive security patches and updates, wow. as well as proactive service monitoring and restoration. Best of all, you get the very best in around-the-clock support from the most helpful humans in hosting. Dedicated hosting experts that have your back 24-7, 365. Hosting advisors that will help you choose your solution. You get level 3 technicians on site. Dedicated teams focused on security, monitoring and network, updates and patches and security enhancements. We call it fully managed hosting. Now you can do what you love and love what your hosting company is doing for you. You build something brilliant, we make it work. Hi, my name is Dwayne Morrow. I'm a current volunteer and a former spinal cord injury patient at Shepherd Center. Shepherd Center specializes in medical treatment, research and rehabilitation for people with spinal cord and brain injury. My name is Amy Bolwer. I'm also a current volunteer and my daughter's a former brain injury patient at Shepherd Center. Shepherd Center was founded in 1975 and is located in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta's highway system and international airport make it easy to travel to and from anywhere in the world. Shepherd Center is ranked by U.S. News & World Reports among the top 10 rehabilitation hospitals in the nation. The hospital provides comprehensive services from intensive care to inpatient rehabilitation to outpatient therapy. We want you to know you can feel confident about Shepherd Center's expertise and its staff's incredible dedication to compassionate care that helps restore independence and hope. We work so hard at making sure that our staff create an environment that sends a message of hope. A message that says, we're sorry you're injured, but 
it's not the end of the world. There are lots of things that you can do. And we work on that culture every day. And I think that culture is a, is a strong contributor to why we produce better outcomes in other places, because we get people moving in the right direction at the right time. I was given a 1% chance of ever walking again, but the environment of the Shepherd Center was one that gave me the ability to push the limits to see what was possible. I kind of was a little scared because I didn't know what to expect. And um, transitioning from being able to walk and be in the chair, it's, it was a real big transition. Atlanta Shepherd has been quoted as saying that Shepherd is the place where hope begins again. We see 400 individuals with brain injury a year. We see over 350 individuals with spinal cord injury a year. Our staff have the expertise, we have the knowledge, and our outcomes exceed national averages. So what's next? If you want to know more about some specific topics, such as housing, family training, research and technology, and returning to home, school, or work, please watch some of Shepherd Center's related videos that will help answer your questions. If you want an in-person introduction to Shepherd Center to assist you in the decision-making process, the hospital admission staff will be glad to arrange a tour for the patient's family member or representative. If you know Shepherd Center is the place you want to start rebuilding your life, then the hospital staff of Access Case Managers can begin the admission process anywhere in the United States within 24 hours of referral. Thank you for your time, and we look forward to helping you make a comeback. I'm usually super relaxed at home, except when this happens, or this, or this. Lucky for me, my mom knows just the thing to help me get through these stressful times. Thanks to mom and nature vet, I'm now able to make some of my most stressful moments quiet moments. Hi, I'm Susie Hollander, a dietitian who loves to cook. And I'm Dr. Cheryl Rue, internal medicine physician whose passion is to help you to eat healthier. So today, we're gonna be cooking oven fried okra. We're gonna give you a healthy spin on this typically deep fried southern version. We'll be baking this okra and then spicing it up with a little cayenne pepper. This baked version of a fried classic makes a crispy, delicious okra without all the added fat. Okra is in season in the summer, but you can find it in your freezer section at the grocery store. Mm, this sounds good. Let's, Let's get, get cooking. So when, when we got on the ground, um, the the dogs were severely uh, emaciated and uh, dehydrated. They had been living out of a car with no food and water for five days, um, and and just extremely thin. Uh, you can pretty much see their entire skeletal system through their skin. They were so thin. Last night, my partner and I that worked the night shift, Mike, we actually took uh, a couple pieces of kibble and lured them out to the floor from their safe space, from their kennel, 
had them eat the kibble and we were able to pet them and then give them a little kibble to get back in. So that was one of the drills we did. That was heartwarming. Um, Cause you know, uh, what they went through, possibly. I sit here at night, I'm working night shift and I'm hungry and I say, you know, you're, you're a little bit hungry, imagine how they felt. So they're safe, as soon as they arrive, they're safe. So uh, we're looking at his weight, we just weighed him again and he gained a couple ounces, which is amazing. He's one pound, one point, I think it's one pound, one ounce yesterday when I, he gained a little more today. But um, he's coming around, he's running and you just wanna get him over that hump and the vet and the care, medical care here is amazing. He has his fluids and now he's starting to act like a puppy. Our donors' dollars go directly to the animals. We stretch those dollars out as much as we can for these animals uh, to provide the care that's needed for them. Um, from the basic necessities of, of obviously food and water for them, but to, to the blankets, uh, to the care and treatment of setting up their crates, um, to making sure that we have the food and medication for them, and, and, and just anything that's needed for them. Hold on a second. Um, do you know what's in this? Peanuts? Do you know if there's any nuts in this? Until the next time, we hope these ideas for your health, your safety, and your finances make your day a little better and a lot more fun.